Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a great day, and today we are going to take care of the bridge that leads into Regnum, connecting up this road uh, over here with the main entrance that we built last episode, which, by the way, uh, you guys seem to really like the, the main entrance for the most part, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun building it. Um, I think the first thing we need to do is we need to get the... Ooh, a little bit of a hiccup there. Uh, we need to get the actual uh, bridge in place. So let's, uh, first and foremost, get rid of this. Because this obviously is not going to be here. We need to do away with all of this madness over here. This was just temporary to kind of mark things out. So let's just kind of do, do, do. There we go, almost, and beautiful. Okay, so, as far as the bridge goes, I think I want to keep this pretty simple. I, I'm not looking to do anything super complicated here. I'm not going to try and reinvent the wheel or anything like that at all. I think what we're basically going to do... Oh, I missed a, uh, a spruce guy there. I think we're going to bring this across like so and then we'll do the same here I'm flying right now apparently <laughs> there we go so we'll just kind of bring that over okay then this I actually want to kind of bring this back a bit like it's fine to have the shore here but I don't want it uh, I don't want it quite like up in your face like it was now, the actual, uh, and this is going to be detailed uh, as we go, don't worry, we'll, we'll add more detail to it, but I think we're going to keep this pretty simple, so let's go maybe here, and we want to kind of do this in chunks, right, so we'll say like that. And then I'm thinking we'll go maybe three, four. We'll maybe bring this over. Uh, one, two, three, four here. Can I reach that? No, of course I can't. Build that up like one more. There we go. Okay, and then I think here may, well, hmm, maybe we'll end up going three, let's, let's do it this way, let's kind of figure out one, two, three, right, oh, I'm falling, so if we go three between, and then one, two, three here, and then on this side, we go one, two, three. And one, two, three. Here, that would leave one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually where we want it to be. So, let's reposition some of these a bit. So, we're going to go here, there. Oh, no, I messed up the counting, didn't I? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. There. Right? And then that actually splits perfectly into threes. So here and here. And it's going to be... I mean, we could... Potentially even just leave it like this. Make it a completely flat bridge. But I don't know... Hmm. That's an interesting thought. What if we were to just make it a completely fr uh, a completely flat bridge? Let's make some some spruce uh, slabs kind of coming across like so. There we go. Right. 
And then I was thinking in between, we'll put dark oak fences like this. Right? So that kind of leads across. And then obviously we need to kind of beef up the lower part of the bridge as well. So like here, here, maybe all the, all the pillars, right? So like that one would come down, this one would come down, that one would come down. And this one here would come down? What do we think of that? That's okay. We'll dress it up a bit more. But I think that's a good start. Um, over here, we need to swap that out. And then on this side, we need to do the same thing, right? Come on. Oh, it, it, stand. <laughs> There we go. No, not a rocket. Granite, you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, so we'll bring these down as well. And right here. And right here. And also right there. Yeah, okay. And then we need to make sure that all of those go all the way into the ground. So let's just grab this guy out. One here. One there. Oh, squid. You're in my face. Okay. I think that's good. Oh, and we missed one right here. Yeah, those do go all the way. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This is a good start. Now, as for kind of detailing this out a bit more, maybe what we could... Oh, nope. Come back. Maybe what we could do is take some slabs going across like so, as sort of like supports a little bit. I think that could actually look pretty good. Right? Right? It's basically going straight across the bridge. I think that's fine. Uh, we do need to go and sleep real quick because it's about to be night. Let's go and do some of that. The Regnum is getting so close to done. Like, there's there's a lot of work left to do, but a lot of it is repetitive stuff. Uh, you know, building the towers, building a couple more houses. There's not really a lot left to do in Regnum that is... New, I guess, would be the best way to put it. There, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing really left to do in Regnum for the most part that isn't stuff that we haven't already done before. Uh, there's a little bit, but not a ton, not a ton of it. Um, so we're actually getting pretty close, and we're on uh, episode 145, episode 150. I'm telling you guys right now, it's going to be a game changer. Everything you know about kingdoms, it's going to be changing, and it's going to be awesome. Um, well, I shouldn't say everything you know about kingdoms. Kingdoms, kingdoms will still be kingdoms, but, uh, we're making, uh, episode 150 is gonna be a very important episode. Well, yeah, episode 150 and also episode 151. <laughs> those, those two episodes in combination together will be very important. How do we, th what do we think of this? How does this look as a relatively simple bridge? I think it gets the job done, honestly. I'm I'm good with this. I think this will work just fine. Gives us a way to get over here, across the uh, the river. It doesn't look super out of place. Uh, we could potentially. No, you know, honestly, I, I think we leave it just the way it was. This is good. This is perfectly fine. It then opens up into this road, which goes into the city. Also, some of you said that uh, this door is it, it should be open too wide uh, because it's not big enough. You, caravans wouldn't be able to get through. The idea is that if there was actually like a caravan or, or some sort of wagon or something like that come through, this door would be opened all the way. Um, 
it's done in the way it is just kind of for looks. It realist, if this was a real world and this door actually worked, it would be able to fully open up so that uh, people could get into the city. Uh, but I really like the door. I, I like the way it turned out. It worked out very well, I think. But I'm just trying to get a feel. When we come out here, we come up on the bridge. Yeah, I mean, that, that works. It works perfectly fine. And when you're coming down the road, you see the bridge. It looks fine from up here, I think. I think it's good, honestly. This is simple, but effective. And that's what I wanted to go for. Something very simple and also very effective. And also very limited in uh, in spawning capability. There's not a lot of there's not a whole lot of spawning that can happen over here. Uh, there's a little, like on top of the um, uh, on top of the the pillars right here, these little supports. This is a spawnable area. Uh, but the fences aren't spawnable, and the slabs, this is, uh, you know, on the lower half of the block, so this isn't spawnable. I mean, for the most part, this bridge is actually pretty mob safe. Uh, and to make it a little bit more mob safe, maybe what we could do is grab ourselves a little bit of wool, make a couple carpets. I, one thing I haven't actually checked, and this may actually be very important, uh, because right now our walls <laughs> are all spawnable, which is not ideal. Um, but one thing we could maybe check here, and I think this will go very well together. But if we take this gray wool right here, or gray carpet, and we put that on top up here, how does that blend? Oh, that's perfectly fine. It's barely noticeable. And then it makes the, the, the entire bridge not spawnable. And in some ways, it actually gives us a little bit of extra detail to kind of cap that off just a tiny bit. I think that looks good. Now, the reason that that may be important is because if we fly, uh, if we fly, there we go, around the whole city of Regnum, right? We made such a big deal about... Uh, making sure that everything within a large radius of this Colosseum was not a spawnable area. And then we plop down this wall here, and all of these blocks that I'm standing on right now, the, all the ramparts right here, those are all spawnable. <laughs> so that actually opens up a lot of spawnable areas. Now, only at night. Uh, they're not spawnable during the day. But at night, they certainly are, and that does kind of present a little bit of an issue. So, I want to try something here. Let's just see. How would it look if we went like so? How would that look from down here? Oh, again, barely noticeable. Barely noticeable at all. Now, the downside to that is that I'm going to need so much gray wool. I'm going to need so much gray wool if we're going to do that, uh, because, like, I would have to do it around basically the whole thing, and I don't know exactly how big this wall is, but it's pretty big. Um, yeah, it's pretty good sized. Oh, I missed one right here. But you guys could see here. How this could work. I, I don't think it looks bad. I think the color blends just fine. Uh, it's just a matter of seeing how far one stack of uh, this will take you. And then the, the walkways aren't spawnable. I mean, th there might be a couple very small spots in the walkways that are. Uh, but I'm not going to concern myself too much with just like one or two spots. And we could always like do some lighting magic or something there to... To make sure that happens. This is going to be part of a tower, so that doesn't need to be dealt with at all. Um, but you can see, like, this little bit, this one stack of carpet that we had, is not going to last us forever. I mean, we basically went through a full stack of gray wool there, and then I had, I think, like, nine more carpets or something like that, and it, it did a decent chunk. You know, I mean, it got us from here all the way over to here 
but that's not enough and this wall is going to be a lot bigger than what we have right now so i think i like the idea and i think we're going to do it uh it just means that it's going to add a little bit more to to my uh list of things that i have to do to complete regnum but i think it's going to be worth it because we did really spend a lot of time ensuring that everything within range of this coliseum at least for the most part was not spawnable to the point where we even put like carpets on some of the roofs and um designed a lot of things in such a way that they wouldn't be spawnable torch spam everywhere which i i'm still not a huge advocate for but uh i'll make a decision on that later um i mean there's just so much here that it would be a shame to ruin it by having this giant spawnable area all along the wall anyway i have more to do i want to get some of these towers built uh for sure the bridge i'm happy with i'm i'm completely fine with the bridge at this point i think the bridge is done and looking good so i think i want to start getting some of these smaller towers in here uh built up i'm also running a bit low on granite so i may have to do some mining and stuff like that off camera i got a lot of work to do all right guys i am back it is actually not the next day i've been thinking about it and i think we are going to get this episode out uh on tuesday uh i've been doing a bit of work let's uh let's fly off over here so we can see um so i've gotten almost all the towers done on this side of the city except for uh this far corner one over here uh, why i didn't do that one i don't know i just didn't um i'll get to it we're working on it though but you can kind of start to see the effect that we're going to be creating right the atmosphere as you come up on the city you'll be able to see towers along the walls and then a couple of these larger towers right here and i think it all fits within the theme and it all looks pretty good uh and it, it's going well and these little smaller towers really don't take that long to build it probably takes maybe i don't know five ten minutes to put up one of these once you kind of get into the swing of things they're really not a, a whole lot of blocks they're very very simple um but you know going around and doing all of them since there are quite a few spots one two three four five six seven and then down here there's like this is a big tower eight nine ten eleven more to go so i probably have maybe maybe an hour hour and a half of uh building these towers to go which really isn't too bad if you think about it uh but then the towers will be done um i i i think they're good there's a couple little weird discrepancies with them like um you can kind of see this is not really a good one to see it but some of these if you get like right up on them like right here you, you can see the grass <laughs> inside um and we may do something about that at some point i haven't decided i mean it wouldn't take a whole lot to just you know go up on these towers like this one for example oh also oh i don't have any granite oh well it wouldn't take much to just come in here and quick you know swap this out for spruce or something like that that wouldn't be that big of a deal and it may be something i do uh, it may not be i don't know it really just depends on how uh how much extra time i want to spend detailing detailing that out um and and doing stuff because i'm not planning on doing interiors on any of the towers so i don't know if it would really be that big of a deal anyway uh and odds are you know when you come up in the city you're not coming to look at every tower individually you're just trying to get kind of the the big effect if you will um and then you go through the main the main entrance here so i don't know how i want to do that just yet but we'll we'll sort it out as we go still a lot of work left to do in regnum and as i've said before a lot of it's off camera work a lot of it's just building the towers um uh building a couple more houses that we've that are very similar to the ones we've already built um putting iron bars in the walls ga you know gathering resources to finish a lot of this a lot of it's just grindy off camera stuff um but we'll see anyway i want to get into today's comment or question of the day and this one is from roey poland roey poland sorry I, i'm butchering the name but he's he says the roman towers were not round but square and actually that is as far as i know from the research that i've done that is actually correct generally roman towers were 
square, not round, I believe. I, I'm not a historian, so I may be incorrect. Um, but from all the images and things like that that I've looked at, uh, the research that I've done, Roman towers generally were square or rectangular, not necessarily square. Some of them were, were rectangles that were a little longer uh, with the area that stuck out the wall um, or stuck to the outside of the wall. But uh, this is not so much a Roman recreation. This is Roman inspired, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not trying to make a historically accurate Roman city because, first of all, the colors would be all wrong uh, for a Roman, for an actual, like, Roman area, we wouldn't have the the red roof would be actually kind of correct. They had like this red shingle uh, from everything I've seen, but uh, it, we wouldn't have like this these dark grays and blacks for the most part. This this the colors are all wrong. If this were actually a Roman area, um, this library over here, this type of deal detailing is way above and beyond what you would see. <laughs> Like, look, look at this wall. This is way, way beyond what you would see in a Roman library. The Colosseum is actually pretty, pretty accurate. Um, but a lot of the things here are inspired by Roman cities, but not. it's not an accurate uh, recreation, and it's not meant to be. Um, it's just, you know, I looked at Roman architecture, and I looked at history, and took some ideas from that, and t kind of turned it into more of a fantasy Roman city, if that is sort of blending elements of fantasy and history together, which is very often how I like to build. Um, if you look at like, um, a well, a lot of the stuff that I've built uh, throughout this world, you know, if we fly over here uh, to Woodsong, which is Skyrim inspired, which thereby is Nordic inspired, because that's basically the architectural style in Skyrim. Um, this is also very much the same. The architectural style is inspired by uh, Nordic architecture, Scandinavian architecture, um, but it's not historically accurate because, uh, you know, they would have more likely thatch roofs and uh, they wouldn't be. It, yeah, I, I guess that's the that's kind of my roundabout way of explaining it is um, I'm not trying to create a historically accurate Roman city as much as I am just trying to take some ideas from Roman history and Roman architecture and uh, Roman city design and stuff like that and incorporate them into a larger, more fantasy uh, style project. So um, yes, uh, I know that the towers were not round. Uh, generally, they were rectangular or square, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> I want round towers here. <laughs> I guess that's the easiest way to put it. So let's go and deposit this book. Guys, I think that is going to do it for today's episode of Kingdoms. If you did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so make sure you check those out. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.